pretty wonderful. Not only do they help us perform tasks, but they also help us to communicate with others. But have you ever thought about what allows our hands to move in a way that they do? Well, why don't we find out? Hi, I'm Alice. And I'm Claire. And today we're going to explore these inner workings by creating our own articulated hand. For this hands-on DIY, you need craft foam, paper straws, beads, string and chopsticks. First up, we need to use a pen to trace the shape of our hand on a piece of foam. Then we can use some scissors to cut around the line. Cut up paper straws into small pieces and stick them on your foam hand. Make sure you leave a large gap between each straw so that the fingers and thumb can bend later on. Next up, we need to cut our string into five pieces and put a bead on each end. Thread each piece of yarn through the first straw on the tip of the fingers and thumb, then through their corresponding straws. Then you can tie another bead onto the other end of the twine. Now we can decorate our hands. You can decorate your hand in whatever way you like, but we are going to use some nail polish to paint on some fingernails. Once that's done, we can attach a chopstick to act as a handle. This will make our foam hands a lot easier to hold. And there we have it, our very own movable appendage. So why don't we take a close look at the anatomy of the hand. Our hands contain bones called phalanges. If you feel around, you'll notice there are three in each finger and two located in your thumb. These phalanges connect to five bones in the main part of your hand called metacarpals. The muscles that move your thumb and fingers are in your forearm. These connect to long tendons that run through your wrist to your palm, fingers and thumb. The tendons slide through a tunnel called the tendon sheath, which is attached to little bones in your fingers and thumb, which help keep the tendons in place. When the muscles in the forearm contract, they pull these tendons to move the bones. So if you look at our articulated hand, you'll see that the straws represent the tendon sheaths and the twine represent the tendons. So with the help of our articulated hand, we can see how the many parts of our hand work together to give us the movement we need. 